see the extension cord? And for Christmas, I'd like a big doll. Mom, can we make popcorn? Grace, you see the tree lights? And I'd like some skates. Where's the popcorn? Grace, where's that extra box of tinsel? Good grief, George. You forgot to hang Granny Matilda's crystal castle. And I'd like a slime ring. Grace, did she say a slime ring? Yes, she did, George. Whoa! Will, we do not skateboard in the living room. Okay, Dad. Lucy wants a slime ring because last year I got one. Should we allow our kids to play with slime rings? I should say not. What are they? They're, uh, what are they? Oh, I love Christmas. Don't you think it's time for bed, young lady? Oh. Now, Grace, it's not like it's Christmas every day. Oh, good idea, Dad. I'll ask for Christmas every day, forever and ever. Fine, you do... No, don't! No, no, dear. Not Christmas every day, huh? -uh. Oh, why, why not? not? Be so great, great. Yeah. Because you may get it, that's why. Oh, oh yeah, come on, dear. You're so silly. Your father's right. Just don't make that wish, Lucy. That's all. But why? What's the matter with it? Yeah, yeah why? Yeah, why? Uh -huh. I guess you better tell them the story, George. What story? You're right, Grace. It'll make the perfect story on Christmas Eve. Okay, gather round, gang. Here we go. Oh, this Great, is going to be Dad. neat. Yes. Here, George, you'll need the Crystal Castle ornament to tell it properly. Isn't that the ornament that belonged to Granny Matilda? Right. right. She lived in this very same house, didn't she? About 100 years ago. What was it like then, dear? Yeah. Well, it was very much like it is today, especially on Christmas Eve, and especially when the family was gathered in this very same living room. Watching TV? Yes, watching t No, there were no TVs back then. Listening to radio, I bet. Yes, listening to the ra No, no radio, too early. <laughs> what did they do then? They stood around the piano singing Christmas carols. God bless you, merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born. And so it happened on this particular Christmas Eve night. Merry Christmas, my wonderful family! Hi, Father! Your great grandpa Pete returned from another of his long trips, loaded down with gifts to put under the tree. And one very special one to hang on the tree. Oh, Father, it's so beautiful. It comes from a place far away, Princess. What is it? It's a magic crystal castle from the North Pole. Why is it magical? Because, well, I'm told if you make a wish, the Christmas fairy who lives inside the castle just might make your wish come true. <laughs> really, Father? Oh, sure. <laughs> I'll bet, sure. Enough of that nonsense, Pete. Everyone into the library for eggnog and popcorn. Come yes, on. The Matilda, or Tilly as she was called then, loved the magic crystal castle. First, she hung it on the tree, and then what do you think she did? Made a wish? Right. I wish it would be Christmas every day, forever and ever. Oh. Is there someone here who wished for Christmas every day, forever and ever? Oh, stop. I'm down already. I did. Really? Well, did you really mean it? Oh, yes. But if I make it Christmas every day, you'll have nothing to look forward to. I'll look forward to it every day. Oh, my. And if I grant your wish for Christmas every day forever and ever, there's no ungranting it. Wonderful. I love Christmas. Oh, my, my. Well, in that case, you may have Christmas every day, uh, but only for a year, I think. And then we'll see about having it longer. But a year's hardly any time at all. Oh, my, my. Trust me on this one, kid. Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, and thank you, ma'am. Oh, toodles. Oh, Merry Christmas, ma'am. Oh, how very nice of you. Thank you. And a Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> Every single day of the next year. <laughs> Tilly, what are you doing in there? You'll never guess what happened, Mother. What? Oh, no, nothing. But something did happen that Christmas Eve. And Father will tell you what happened after we all get into our pajamas. Is it good? Well. Is it bad? Well. What? You'll see. Come on, let's go. Let's get the show. Let's go. Let's go. Christmas every day will be right back. Everybody in their jammies? Wait for me. Now, 
tell us what happened to Granny Matilda? Well, Tilly awoke that morning with eyes like muffins and a pounding head. It's Christmas! It's Christmas! And there it was, laid out on the library table, and under the tree were books and portfolios, boxes of stationery, jewelry, and dozens of handkerchiefs and ink pens and snow shovels and photograph frames and dollhouses and little easels and boxes of watercolors and... Candy, candy, candy! What a nice tie. Oh, what a nice dress. Oh, what a beautiful doll. Pete, isn't it time for the surprise? The, uh, what? The special surprise. Ah, uh, yes, the special, uh... What special surprise? Pete, the basket. Just get the basket. Oh, yes, the basket. <clears throat> well, family, this gift will demand a great deal of responsibility on the part of you children. And, uh... I'm a puppy! I'm a puppy! Yippee! I'm a puppy! I'll name him Rover. Who's going to have to take care of Rover? It was a wonderful Christmas. They ate a huge lunch of turkey and stuffing and yams and oranges and cranberry sauce and rice pudding and tapioca and Christmas cookies and Christmas cakes and Christmas candy. Oh, my tummy. Well, we'll see if we turn this house into such a sideshow next year. And that night, the whole family slept heavily and slept very late into the next morning. It's Christmas! It's Christmas! 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 What nonsense! It was Christmas yesterday! Well, it's Christmas again! Come down to the library and see! <gasps> oh! Gee, what a nice tie! It looks so familiar. What a nice... Now, I'm sure I received something like this before. Oh, what a nice dress! Oh, I need all the clothes I can get. Oh, what a beautiful doll! Pete, isn't it time for the surprise? What? You know, the special surprise we planned. The special surprise we planned? Behind you, the basket. Oh, of course. Again? <clears throat> well, family, this gift will uh, demand a great deal of responsibility on the part of all you children. A puppy! A puppy! Yippee! A puppy! I'll name this one Spot. Who's going to have to take care of Spot? And Rover. Yes, the second day of Christmas was just like the day before. Oh. Well, children, we'll see if we turn this house into such a, a sideshow uh, uh, next year. That night, the family slept very heavily, and in the morning slept very late. And then, just like on the first and the second day, it happened again. It's Christmas! It's Christmas! 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 Christmas. Don't be ridiculous. It was Christmas yesterday. And the day before. Well, it's Christmas again today. Come see. It's Christmas. It's Christmas again. Oh. Well, just as you might expect, the third day of Christmas was very much like the first and the second. Oh, another uh, tie. That's a uh, very... Uh... Nice dress. But couldn't you have at least gotten me a different color this time? Oh, what a surprise. A doll. Isn't it time for the basket? <laughs> the what? The surprise. What surprise would that be? The, uh... Oh, the basket. Well, <clears throat> family, this gift will uh, demand... A great deal of responsibility. Right. Bye. Well, Christmas every day went on day after day and week after week, and people were getting pretty fed up. And keeping it a secret that it was her fault was really getting to Tilly. Mother... I have something to tell you. Yes, dear. If I ever find out who was the cause of all of this. You were saying, Tilly, dear. Oh, never mind. Now, don't think it was just Christmas every day at Granny Matilda's house. Oh, brother. And so on it went, on and on. It was Christmas on Lincoln's birthday. It was Christmas on Washington's birthday. It was Christmas on Easter. It was still Christmas on April Fool's Day. Jingle bells, jingle bells. And even Christmas turkeys skyrocketed. How much? $5,000. For a hummingbird? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Cranberries were a diamond apiece. The woods and orchards were now just fields of stumps. In fact, they ran out of trees completely and had to make them out of other things. Get your rag trees here. Get your ragtag Christmas trees here. Well, by six months, Tilly couldn't even cry anymore.
by seven months, she began to sit on any doll that crossed her path. French, porcelain, raggedy Ann dolls, any kind. She had so many she couldn't stand the sight of them and threw them across the room. Go away! In fact, everyone was flinging presents around. I name you number 210, or is it 212? And everyone had to build barns or sheds behind their houses to hold all their presents. Ow! If you don't shovel your presents off the public access here, I'll have to arrest you and put you in jail. I'll shovel, I'll shovel. And the townspeople had sung the Christmas song so much that they'd all lost their voices. God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. People were now giving each other rags for presents because there was nothing left in the stores to buy. It's a very nice rag, thank you. Oh boy, another rag. They got so poor that everybody had to go to the poor house. Me first. But the poor houses got so full they had to send the people back to their own homes. Me first. Me out. If I ever find out whose fault this is. This is the worst thing that's ever happened. I'd like to get my hands on him. Christmas fairy? I know you said you can't ungrant a wish once it's been granted, but what if the wish wasn't a good wish to have wished for in the first place? Then will you let the wisher take the wish back and ask for another wish in exchange? Oh, I wish I never asked for Christmas every day! Oh, please, Christmas fairy! Please hear me, please! Stay tuned for more of Christmas Every Day. Christmas fairy? Are you there? And did the Christmas fairy hear her, Daddy? Well, she might have heard, but she never appeared. What happened next? Halloween. I love Halloween. Well, so did Tilly, but this Halloween wasn't like any other Halloween. <laughs> Trick or treat! Well, at least things couldn't get any worse. Well, actually, the worst was yet to come. The day that had always been Tilly's own special Hers Alone Day finally arrived. All right, let's all sing happy birthday to dear little Matilda, who we all love so very, very much. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, dear Matilda. Merry Christmas to you. Well, if there was anything that broke her spirit completely, it was Tilly's birthday. She decided to go to bed and stay there till the rest of the year was over. Christmas fairy, if you can hear me, please listen. And wish my Christmas wish. Look, I promise I'll never wish for anything ever again. I'll help my mother with the dishes. I'll walk all 239 dogs. And I'll even be nice to my sister Franny for a whole nine, five, um, three months. But please, stop making it be Christmas. It's your fault it's Christmas every day. Your fault, Mama. And Franny, never wanted to keep a secret, didn't. What's it say? It's Tilly's fault! When the townspeople found out, they walked by the house and ignored her. Well, even her friends wouldn't play with her anymore. Hi, Anna. Hi, Betty. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Johnny. Even none of the 240 dogs would have anything to do with her. Fetch number 229. Tilly was so very depressed and so sure that no one anywhere loved her anymore, she decided there was only one thing left to do. I'm running away, Mrs. Jones. Good. And so the little girl who wished for Christmas every day decided to run away from home, never to return ever again. Stay tuned for the conclusion of Christmas Every Day. Tilly decided to run away from home. Wasn't she scared? Oh, sure, very scared. But she didn't get very far, because guess who caught up with her right in front of Fletcher's barber shop? Her mom and dad? Right. Tilly, dear, why are you running away? Because it's my fault. I asked for it to be Christmas every day. Every day for how long? Forever and ever. Forever? Forever and ever? Well, actually, the Christmas fairy said 
I could have it for a year and then she'd see. Well, when the year is up, tell her that'll be just enough, thank you. But what if the fairy forgets about me and never comes back? What if it never stops being Christmas? Well, we'll just have to hope for the best and stick it out as bravely as we can. Even though everyone hates me for what I did. Tilly, we're your family. We love you. Yes. And we'll stand by you no matter what. Isn't that right, children? Children. Yeah. But at last it came to good old once a year Christmas night. Please, Christmas fairy, the year is finally over. Let it be just a normal day tomorrow. And when Tilly woke up that next morning, the Christmases finally were over. There was a great celebration all over the country. People hugged and kissed and cried for joy. Oh, Helen, isn't it wonderful? It's not. Don't say it. And the garbage men collected all the boxes and trees and tinsel and wrappings, and they squashed them down into smaller versions of themselves, and then they buried them. And all the people at Celebration Bonfires with their unwanted presents, and they had a grand old time. And everyone, of course, forgave Tilly and never mentioned the incident again. Oh, thank you, Christmas Berry. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, Tilly, I've been thinking about what you said, and I'm ready to make it Christmas forever and ever. Oh, no! I wish you'd make sure there's never a Christmas again. Never, never, never. Oh, my, my, my. That's your wish? Well, how about once in a thousand years? Oh. A hundred years? Ah. Uh, I know, every ten years. Very well. I hereby declare it will only be Christmas every... Wait, um, maybe we should leave it Christmas once a year. Everyone seemed to be happy with that, and I had something to look forward to. And it's important to have things to look forward to, don't you think? Oh, my, my, yes. Well, until next year at this time, Merry Christmas, Dilly dear. Daddy, you make up the best stories. That's right, I make up the best... No, this all really happened. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Daddy, really? Well, believe what you wish. But remember, if you wish for what you believe you want, you... Just might get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, time for bed, everyone. Aww. Hey, the sooner you close those peepers, the sooner you wake up to... Christmas! Oh, right. That's right, yeah, yeah, no, 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 Come on, kids, let's go. Mom, we have a lot to go tomorrow. Oh, it was just my imagination. Still, I wish... I wish... Remember, if you wish for what you believe you want, you just, just might, might get it. <laughs> I wish... I wish I was in bed right now, dreaming of how wonderful tomorrow is going to be. Oh, well. Merry Christmas anyway, Christmas fairy. Merry Christmas, Lucy, dear. And sweet dreams. Night, honey. Huh? Pleasant dreams, dearie. And a Merry Christmas to all of you. <laughs> <laughs>